Yeah. See, the world really needs all the people like me. See how bad it could actually be. Yo, I have- what's happening, YouTube Jugger here? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. I would like to give a very special shout out to your boy Rubsy. He's a Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber. Just hit 100,000 subscribers on his channel and now he actually is doing rap. He's a rapper now. Zombies YouTuber turned rapper and he's actually doing my intro music and outro music. Just recently dropped an album. Link in the description. Please go show him some love. My favorite track on his album right now is Ghost in the Hall. Really, really cool love it so shout out to you rubsy aka namson one more time link in the description go check his album out before we actually get into today's video can you guys do me a favor and smack that like button can we get 200 likes this video and break our like goal i would totally appreciate it we have some amazing items to show you guys in this video we have six new level 65 items to showcase this weekend and I'm going to take it back from last weekend and bring it back forward. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that with these brand new level 65 item now you guys see my mayhem mode 10 modifiers now we do have our guardian system rank enabled you guys are checking out my class mods from last weekend i'll tell you guys i'll bring them back forward and explain to you guys in this video exactly what they are ah. now check this out this is my brand new shield called the wall run a faulty star check out my health look at it right now bottom left hand corner of your screen as soon as i put on this oh my god you guys just seen what happened my health just went up by times four oh my god. God, that's hot that's super hot yes queen it is so amazing and check out the design on the shield super phenomenal you guys seen what happened to my health it actually works better on other characters you know amaro looking real nice with this shield on her but iron beer oh my god zane flack woo don't even get me started i will show you guys at the end of the video what exactly i am talking about with this star shield now check this out i actually built into this star shield not one two three into the four but actually 24 different shields in this one star shield now check this out i built in the aslipicus and the stinger from the guardian takedown because i know the guardian takedown is so hard to do that i actually put those shields into this shield Along with the Absorb, Stop Gap, the Shooting Star, the Ultra Plus from DLC4, and of course, the Star. So you guys already know there's a whole bunch of hidden Easter eggs along with this shield for you guys to go out there, figure out, and have tons of fun. Next up, we have the Mind Melt Commander Planetoid. Now you guys can see by the name, I have some of the actual artifacts built into this one artifact. Now I actually put in 25 different artifacts into this one artifact with bonus stats like magazine size extra grenades and movement speed now you guys can see right here brick is actually trying to slam me but of course i'm gonna slam him with a double slam and check this out you guys can see the splash damage explosion coming from me exploding into brick's body of course i had to bring back the ice spike for you guys and we do have the spark plug along with the lava pool and whole bunch of other easter eggs of other artifacts built into this one artifact some prime examples of those extra artifacts that are put into this one relic the atom bomb the blood frenzy the carterizer l dragon grave snowdrift electric banjo the knife drain for those melee hits and of course the auto idol check this out now i actually brought back the money supercell cheddar shredder this was actually featured on queen's channel about a month and a half two months ago when she actually featured me on her channel so shout out to queen appreciate you one more time now this was actually level 57 i believe at that time so i had to bring it back for you guys because i know it's a fan favorite that i made and you guys totally love it that i had to bring it back at level 65 so you guys can continue to have fun with it i mean just look at the thing look what it does the money effect you know you got the fungus you got the butt stallion you got the grenades you got the chocolate lava you got the birthday cake i mean tons of explosions emps is just totally a cluster of now fun. check this out we have the generator bullet storm which is a brand new grenade mod i love the design on this grenade mod it is totally impeccable 
I know you guys would actually appreciate it. I wanted to give you guys something new as well, other than bringing back a fan favorite grenade. So this brand new grenade, you guys can see what's happening right now. You throw a whole bunch of confetti, explosions, a radiation just comes out of it and just destroys everything in artillery style and leaves a corrosive puddle. Really, really cool really really fun and i know you guys will absolutely adore that now check this out are you guys have been hitting me up saying jug can you guys please make a melee weapon because i do have a melee build but i need something to actually complement it and here you go this is the more lingo we now i probably didn't say that wrong now according to jolt he actually says this as Lenage, i believe but so we're gonna go with Lenage, and this is your scream more Lenage, and it's actually pretty badass and i know you guys will actually love this as well for your melee builds you guys go out there i actually centered this around the melee build even though you can shoot and destroy things with it because i did want to still give you guys a weapon to shoot with but i did make this for those melee builders out now there. check this out let's see if we can make evil brick scream more as we knife them so let's get ready so once you activate your action skill i'm going to give you a buff of 100 percent more melee damage this weapon already carries a buff of 160k melee damage brick is really spongy on mayhem 10 so it is incredible now with your melee build this weapon will actually complement you did you guys just see that 27 million damage oh my god that is incredible just melee and brick oh my god that's hot <laughs> <laughs> Either really think he's gonna take me down. I'm gonna come right back up, activate my action skill, which actually in the Star Shield crazy Super Saiyan mode, you guys just see me when just activated my Star Shield. How much power I have by pressing one button, which is left back. And my entire screen just exploded because that's the power of the Star Shield. Not taking away from actually what this weapon can actually do melee in. I just wanted to show you guys exactly what all these items combined that you have attached to your character can actually do together. together. Next up, we have the Tiny Tina's Pack and Prompt Critical, which is actually birth from DLC4. The critical pistol combined with the hybrid of being an alien weapon, this weapon is super ecstatic and you guys will actually love it, especially the things that I did to it to enhance your fun and gameplay experience here in Borderlands 3. Now check this out, you guys can see the crazy explosion animation happening as Mordecai, evil Mordecai takes all of that damage of radiation explosion, all elemental. Now you guys peep the actual reload, two different guns reloading at the same time splits into two and then come back into one tell them wait this is insane oh my god that's hot. <laughs> that's super hot. incredible now check this out as much fun as this tiny tina's critical pistol is look what it actually does to evil talent why are you coming at me evil talent i know you're trying to get at me but i had to take you out into feathers no that's not hot. oh my god way i didn't mean to do that to the bird you know i love animals man but the evil oh he came back oh so we're good all right let's keep it trucking after the death of mordecai's blood wing in borderlands 2 i can never get over that i do not know how many times i cried mm. oh my god that let's move on guys moving on i know you guys wanted me to bring back the pikachu mutant level 65 for you guys because the radiation lightning you're so superb such a fun weapon because i'm really not going to be covering the pokemon weapons anytime soon so i wanted to bring back at least one variation for you guys to have fun with as we continue to level up and you know move on with new level 65 items but i want to bring this back because you know that this is a fan favorite and i know you guys will actually love it because it's a beautiful pikachu, pikachu inspired weapon now check this out the last time you guys seen this next weapon the firecracker was actually featured again on queen's channel i think it was level 54 557 something like that but i have to bring it back at 65 for you guys because it doesn't get better than this when it comes to fan favorite weapons who doesn't like to shoot hearts fireworks and especially when you activate your action skill and you guys will actually be shooting blue fireworks how cool is that tell them queen ah that's cool nice real real nice now i actually went back and I altered this weapon just a little bit more so balancing it for fun was my most priority with this weapon because when queen had it i did make it almost a one shot kill but actually there goes the blue fireworks but actually after rebalancing it it's actually really more fun this way because you actually see the enemy's health bar drain instead of just popping them like a cherry and that was really cool of a kill because i know you guys felt that satisfying as i actually 
felt that satisfied as making evil brick explode into firecracker explosive hearts fireworks. fireworks so cool next up we actually have something real cool torpedoes actually shooting from a sniper rifle here in borderlands 3 birth from the liuda here is the anis gravy cold shoulder now the design is immaculate that's why i'm spending a little bit more time showing you guys exactly how i designed this weapon because it is so cool look at the under barrel the torpedoes actually come out of this thing but not just one but two and it's so incredible because i actually made this item this weapon this cold shoulder so cold that i actually have semi unlimited ammo which is so amazing you guys will actually love this shooting the torpedo now from the under barrel check this out there goes the torpedoes oh my god and the explosion is so great and it's an all elemental weapon i believe or it's a quad elemental nevertheless you're doing so many different type of elements explosions you guys will love this weapon plus at the same time on the primary firing weapon i actually have unlimited ammo so you can hold down the trigger as long as you want shoot as many ricochet bullets as you will like and just have total amounts of fun with this weapon birth from the layuda so amazing i mean just look at it incredible super amount of fun nice. just amazing it's actually like a light show class mods time now check this out this is the new dlc4 level 65 class mod for amara now every single class mod in borderlands 3 is built into this mute class mod for your amusement how crazy is this right now and all of those extra skill points you guys see me put in there that's blue highlighted neon blue square box is actually active with an additional skill point so with your level right now level 65 plus these additional active skill points amara's new level is actually level 1 Hundred and three. How crazy is that? Oh, oh my, my god. god, that's hot. That's super hot. That's super hot. Talking about power. Next up, we have the investing ruinous flare for none other than Moe's. Now, Moe's is totally incredible. You guys can see right there with the additional skill points at her level cap, which is level 65 right now. Moe's new rank is now level one. 106 totally just badass again with the blue highlighted neon boxes those skills are actually active but i actually wanted to pull some points really into her tree so you guys can see right now that once i actually enter iron bear with my star shield remember i told you guys in the beginning of the video that i will show you guys what it does to mosey 1.2 million shield oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and then look at her health the only class mod i did not build into this class mod for most is the blood letter other than that every single class mod in the game is built into this one class mod for most the flea next up we have the headache lucky hustler now this thing is really absolutely amazing for zane no holding back right here with this class mod every single class mod for zane in this game is built into this hustler level 65 class mod for zane did you guys just peep his shield and health with that star shield right now the capacity and health is incredible now looking at his class mod every single skill point right there is activated with the blue neon square with the level cap of 65 right now and additional skill points with this class mod zane's new rank is now level 105 just totally unmatchable and could you imagine every single class mod in this game on that class mod what zane can actually do i'm talking about true potential raw power and i'm not even flacking around check this out i'm talking about the ranger peregrini i'm pretty sure 100 i said that wrong but this is the level 65 dlc4 class mod and every single class mod check it out the star shield did you guys see flax capacity and health with the shield incredible i'm trying to keep flack alive and keep him in the battlefield and try to make him as strong as the other characters again every single class mod in this game for flack is actually built into this dlc level 65 class mod for flack again one more time every single lighted up blue neon square you actually see with additional skill points with the level cap at 65 with this additional skill points flak is now level 102 super amazing now what you guys just seen was amara doing an all elemental purple orb skill that will be in her fourth skill tree 
you guys see in Moe's actually spawned a little iron bear as her pet and Zane with a hand cannon. Now check this out. This is Flak's new pet which is a loader bot that you can actually upgrade to a war machine loader bot which is totally incredible. The only reason why I'm letting you guys know this is coming in the coming weeks here in Borderlands 3 year 2 which will be paid additional content which is super incredible and I'm letting you guys know right now that once I get my hands on the, those 4 skill trees the class mod are gonna go super skyrocket into the sky and just explode into crazy fireworks because I'm gonna take your game up to a whole different level of fun giveaway time now this weekend is super incredible because I'm giving away so many items to you guys we have 30 items in the shop this weekend and i'm giving away six items to the first three people on ps4 and the first three people on xbox so please in the comment section right now let me know which six items you will like on playstation and which six items you will like on xbox the first three comments that actually follow those rules will actually get the items for free just for subscribing to me and having notifications turned on i totally appreciate you but if you actually miss your chance to get it for free you can actually purchase it right now in my shop link in the description at evilxjugshop.com please do not forget your psn id and gamer tag at checkout so i can get to you quicker limited quantities available first come first serve and i got you shop will be closing soon so make sure you secure your orders and you will actually get these items right away before Sunday PST time, all orders will be fulfilled and you will have your orders for the coming week. Next weekend, we have the Avengers X Borderlands 3 crossover event and it's going to be totally incredible. So until next time, remember, treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. I'm Jug. Love you guys to the fullest and I'll see you here for another one. Evil X just go let the credits roll. Hey! I am the walker of sky. My name is Eternal. I will never die. I will go down as one of the greats. One of the ones that everyone hates. If it's the fame or if it's the infamy, I will get up to the top of the industry. This is my story and I am the author. The story of Skywalker.